everyone, Pam Fretwell here for Dairy Herd Management. We're here at the World Dairy Expo at the Select Sires booth, and it's my pleasure right now to have Dr. Ray Noble. He is the Vice President of Technical Service Programs here at Select Sires. We've got uh, some really exciting things that you're uh, showing the people here at World Dairy Expo called Cow Manager. Let's just get right into it and find out about it. Uh, thank you, and you're correct. We've been uh, distributors, North American distributors for Cow Manager the last four years, but this year at World Dairy Expo, we're kind of unveiling two really new innovations uh, to a system that's really innovative and started out as being the next generation of activity systems. Tell me why do, first of all, the dairymen need these, this and how is it going to help them with their cow herd? So the, the real reason for monitoring, it's 24-7. It, it gives the dairyman a peace of mind, but gives them information they never had before. And it gives it to it digitally. They can do it on their phone, on their, on their tablet, or at their computer. They can get multi-users, so their veterinarian, the nutritionist, the herdsman, different users can get that same view. But it gives them 24-7, gives what that cow's going on for her health and uh, fertility as far as uh, breeding is concerned. So I would assume that it's individualization. I mean, that's the most important part of this whole thing. And so you've got a couple of items here today that you're wanting to talk about, and, and they're pretty innovative and new and really a cool thing. Uh, correct. And um, again, uh, the, the ear tag is what's the innovative uh, part of the whole system. It measures movement of the ear based on her rumination and eating and grazing and uh, and so forth. So different bodily functions. It actually even has two temperature sensors on each side of the, uh, the, the tag that measures her ear surface temperature for wellness. And if you think about cow comfort, dairy wellness, this is a big plus. I was at an organic dairy just two weeks ago and they see this almost being required in the future as they're audited. They can actually pull out their records and said these are cows, this is what their temperature was, this is their health events, and this is how I treated them. So it's really, four years ago I saw it as the next generation and have only made improvements every year to enhance the, the program. Now you talk about the, the cows being able to know whether they're feeding or not, but how does that work from a tag in their ear? So the tag in the ear, what happens is uh, that when a cow's ruminating, that her jaw moves laterally. Grazing, the tongue goes out and grasps the, the, the forage and brings it back. In eating, it's more of a chewing effect. So each one of those movements are unique. So they've done a lot of research to do video camera uh, imaging of what that cow's jaw in her ear does. So the next time, that's the first question that always comes up. How can you measure rumination from the ear? Is next time you see a cow ruminating, watch her ear bob and, um, and see how that, before we never paid any attention. Now I also noticed that this is in a little bit different place than where I think a cow tag usually is put. Is there a reason for that? Uh, correct, and nice observation because it needs to be from a third to halfway the middle of the ear because if it's too close to the head, as you can see, there won't be much movement. If it's too close to the tip of the ear, there's too much movement. So location, like everything else, location, 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 it's critical that it's from a third to halfway in the middle of the ear. Again, honestly, we would like it in the left ear, but we've already got tags in the left ear. We want a clean ear to be to get the temperature, so right or left, preferably the left, but the location is what's critical. Now, talking about the location, it's also important for the location of where that cow is, but how do we know there's so many tags, everybody's got a tag, how do we know which one because I don't see a great big number. Now you might have a number tag too, but how do you locate the cow? So coming out, the big innovation that's coming out this year is called the uh, uh, Find My Cow. And it can be more than just for fertility or health. If you wanted to give uh, uh, injections for vaccination, if you wanted to give uh, a pregnancy check, you can put in the software actually what cows you want to find. It sends a signal to the servers. It sends back to the sensor and the sensor sends a signal to here I am, here I am, and it has a unique number for that that's linked to that cow. So as you walk in the barn, it says as you get closer, it gets to where the signal's stronger, and it actually turned colors from red to yellow to, to green, and it'll put you right at that cow. So yep, we use it for, for, for breeding, but there's many options that this, this cow locator can be used for. So Find My Cow is really the first in the industry to do this, and uh, we're really excited about it. So now, uh, doctor, where do they go for more information or find out how they can get one of this great product? There's three websites that they can go to, uh, selectsires.com, cowmanager.com, and worldwidesires.com. They can also contact their Select Sires, uh sales rep 
uh, all the trucks have the information on Find My Cow and Cow Manager. All right. Well, I've been talking with Dr. Ray Nabel. He is the Vice President of Technical Service Programs here at Select Sires. And uh, for Dairy Herd Management, I'm Pam Fretwell.